Hey to you. I want to welcome you to another episode of How I Animate in Clip Studio Paint. Hey, today we're going to be talking about the Fill Tool. Now, I know there's a couple ways you can use this tool with other tools, but I want to use it specifically by itself. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like, and let's get straight into it. Okay, as you can see, I got a character that I've been working on, and as I told you, I'm going to be sketching and drawing and practicing like I'm supposed to. So this is a new character I've been working on. And what we want to do with the Fill Tool, first thing I want to do is start off with the the basic part of the field tool. So if you go over to your field tool, it looks like a paint bucket. The shortcut is G by default, so you can also do that. And then come over here to your sub tool. It'll show you the different options you have when using a field tool. So let's test out the first option. And the first option, we're gonna use this color here, this dark purple. And the first option is refer only to editing layer meaning it's not going to refer to any layer but the layer that you're putting the color on so boom that means basically it's going to fill everything if nothing is on that color is on that layer so quite simple see my line layers are up here these two layers so more than likely you're not going to use that so let's go to the next section refer to other layers that means it's going to refer to all other layers. So let's try it now. So it only referred to that section where that line is, but that's only on this layer, right? Let me turn this off. That's only on this layer, but it's still thinking about the other layer. So if I go into here, it'll fill in our clothes. See what I'm saying? So it refers to all other layers. So let's go ahead and delete that. And let's go to the next option. So this option is like um, using the lasso tool. And the best way I can go about using this is using it like as if I'm drawing something. Now, all of the lines have to be closed when using this tool. Let me drop this out the way because in a way we're not using the timeline. And so now you just take it like you're using a lasso tool and you just circle the section you want to fill. And you see, it fills it automatically. And it's a really quick, simple way to start filling up sections of your drawing. And I like to keep it on a separate layer all the time because then I can make changes to it and not um, affect the line art. So let's go back down to the last option on the fill tool. And the last option is kind of cool. So, with this option, let me delete that. You use it like as if you're painting something, like a paintbrush. So you'll take this and it'll show this green section. And long as that section is closed off, it will fill it up. And not all of mine are closed off, so not all of them are gonna fill up, but let me just try it anyway. Ah, no. Oh, I know what I could do, do the hand. So same thing, see? And, it, and it's that simple when using a fill tool. So if you want to, you can still do this, what we've done before. Take your layer, take this uh, auto select tool, and then you get your uh, marching ants and use that fill tool the basic way. Right, fill it in. But I just wanted to give you some more options that you may think about using. Now, I think that the select, the auto selection way is probably the best way to go about doing it because when you do your auto selection, you want to expand the selection probably about one pixel, two pixel, and you'll get all the way to the line. But it's not necessarily needed if you're doing some very, very detailed stuff and your lines are pretty good because these things will fill all the way to the center of the line. But that's it for this video. I hope you learned something. If so, pass that on to somebody else. And as always, anime life forever.